Good day. My name is Ross, Ross Clark, the Mindful Coach. And today we're going to talk about anxiety relief. And this is just going to be the basics. So anxiety is something that is natural. Uh, we relieve perceived anxiety with attention and intention. And the name for this program is called Mindfulness-Based Anxiety Relief. So new studies on the brain, they uh, estimate that we think something like 64,000 thoughts per day. And that's enough to fill a large book. The other part of it is that about three quarters of those are negative. They have a negative bias. So if we aren't aware of our thoughts, chances are three to one that they do have somewhat of a negative component to them. So with mindfulness, what we do, we work with the natural faculties that we all have. And those two faculties are attention and intention. Now, an example of attention is the faculty to know. And it might be, I am feeling cold. So I am to my attention has come this, this understanding that, oh, I'm feeling cold. The intention is the response to choose. So first comes the attention and then comes the intention. Hmm. I think I'll put on a sweater. So that's a simple explanation and example of attention and intention. Now with anxiety relief, when our anxiety is drawn to anxiety, we choose a wise intention. Oftentimes, if we are realizing that our mouths are getting dry, we're starting to feel shaky, whatever those symptoms might be, we actually add more anxiety to it. We start to overthink whatever it is that we're concerned about. So in order to break that thought loop cycle, what we do is we choose a wise intention. It's come into our awareness that we are now getting anxious. So the first thing that we do is we ground. And the second thing that we can do is to open. And the third is to rest. Now, realistically, just to become grounded takes care of probably 80% of all our day-to-day -day type of anxieties. Now, why ground? Well, grounding, as we can see in this pyramid, safety is the second most important aspect. First, we need food, water, shelter. But the second is we need safety. So that's why we ground. We ground in safe sensations in our body so that we can feel that anxiety but not get carried away with it, not let it take us over. So that's why we ground. We just practice this and then it starts to become second nature for us. The way that we can ground is we can shift some of our attention into the body, into the safe grounding sensations of the body, and we can also use an intention. So now we're substituting some of our anxious thoughts for caring thoughts. May I be safe. May I be grounded. These are all examples of intentions that are going to help to reduce the amount of anxiety and bring us back into a more balanced state. Why open? We open to rebalance our nervous system. Now, when we're anxious, our nervous system jumps into fight and flight mode very quickly. And also we have our hormonal system. Our hormonal system starts to put uh, chemicals into our blood, into, into our bloodstream, to prepare us for some perceived, oftentimes, danger. So the nervous system is sim simply um, illustrated here as having two systems. One is the sympathetic, and it tends to be fear-based. So that's the one that's going to get us ready to prepare to run or to fight. The other one is the parasympathetic, and that has this love base to it. That's like, I'm feeling good about myself, I can handle this. So that's the parasympathetic nervous system. When we rebalance our nervous system, uh, we practice that by opening and feeling. We use phrases of intention to rebalance the par parasympathetic nervous system. So we can just have that intention, may I breathe in deeply? May I breathe into my belly? 
And scientists say that whenever we breathe into our belly, what that does is that resets our nervous system. It tells the body to the brain that everything's okay, and slowly, slowly, the parasympathetic nervous system becomes more engaged, and we're able to just to relax and rebalance. The other part is the hormonal system. Now, the hormonal system, too, has these two different qualities. The fear-based, it produces cortisol, and cortisol is there to also to get us ready for, for this perceived danger. Now, if that cortisol is going on for hours and days even, that becomes harmful. It's not intended to be on for a long time. So whenever we want to reduce the amount of cortisol, we look at the fear-based component of it. And what we do is we implement the dopamine. Now, the dopamine is that love-based. That's that sense of, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, this is, this is okay. I can, I can manage this. Yeah, I, I feel good about this. I'm sure I can do this. So we rebalance the hormonal system again by opening, just physically feeling our bodies being more open, and we use phrases of intention to rebalance that. So one of the ways that we can rebalance the hormonal system is just to smile. Um, the science tells us that when the corners of the mouth are up, that, that causes the dopamine to come into the body, which gives us that sense of, of confidence that everything's okay. So resting, resting is what we would do if we had a situation through the, through the day or maybe through the week. And it's been kind of concerning for us. We, we see that we're typically we're reacting a lot. So what we could do is just choose to have some quiet time where we go and we just become grounded and open. And then we would just rest. And oftentimes in that resting, we get a new understanding about the anxiety. So it's really quite remarkable how this all works. Plus, when we rest, our body and our emotions have an opportunity to rebalance and to heal. So how to rest? The practice of resting in awareness, just resting, just being present, just moment by moment being present, resting in awareness. And it could be just the sounds in the room, uh, the grounding sensations in the body, these are all safe, wonderful ways to move our attention into a state of rest and relaxation. And we can also add the intention, may I let go? May I just stop and drop, open and feel, and just let go? May I just let go? So now again, we're substituting some of those 48,000 negative thoughts for positive intentions for ourselves and for our body. So in summary, we have the three processes that we can do for anxiety relief. First, we become grounded. And as I said earlier, that can be enough. If we just you know, cultivate that practice, that skill of being grounded, that will take care of most of our day-to-day -day concerns and anxieties. If we want to bolster our energy, we've had a long hard day, then what we can do is first we become grounded, we always become grounded first, but then we open. We open up just to allow that dopamine to come into our bloodstream, just to give us that sense of contentment. And then the third one is we can choose to rest. You know, it's been a full day. Yeah, yeah, it has been a full day. And I managed all that. And that's okay. So now I'm just going to stop and drop, open and let go, and just rest in this present moment. So thank you for your interest in this video. And if you'd like to have more of these videos, please just subscribe below and we'll produce more. Thank you once again.